Welcome back to our layout project here using SketchUp Pro. In this episode, we're going to take a look and try to create an electrical plan. And so as of right now, we don't have the scene and all of that done. So we need to go back to SketchUp Pro and our saved file in order to create the scenes and the styles and all of that that we actually need. Um, because remember, we don't create any of that in layout. We create it in SketchUp and bring it over to layout. So bring up our SketchUp project and this is kind of where we are at. If you don't have an electrical plan made, you can simply come over here to your scenes. If you don't have these, uh, this tray, you can go over to window, new tray, or you can go to default tray and select uh, whatever you actually need. So if I don't need instructor panel, I can turn that off. Um, uh, etc and so here is your scenes and so let's go ahead and click on the plus sign and I want a top view so we I have my toolbars up here which again you can get view toolbars and you want to turn on styles views and sections those are kind of the three that you will use mo a lot of times if we click on the top, we can create an overhead shot. I want to turn off a few different things. So you can go into your tags if you have that all done. Um, or if you don't have any tags done, you can go in your outliner and turn things off. Um, but creating all the tags and everything really helps speed everything up. And so it's highly recommend you doing that um, as you're working on your SketchUp project. Here, I wanna turn off the roof. I wanna turn off the plot. In our architectural styles, we're going to click on wireframe. and we need to turn off the foundation. So now we have the, turned off the foundation. I'm going to toggle off my section cut that was showing up. I wanna create a new section plane. And we're going to bring this up four feet. I want it kind of four foot off the ground. Toggle off this one. This, this, this turns off the display of the section plane. So it's still there, but we just can't see the actual um, plane. And now we need to go to our style make sure that this doesn't need to be updated if this needs to be updated you'll see kind of a little circle uh circle with arrows go to our scenes we want to update this scene have everything checked click update let's go ahead and rename this scene as electrical plan hit enter and so now we have this scene done. So now if we go over back over to layout, I want to create a new page. So I'm going to duplicate this floor page. So hit the on duplicate. Now I can right click on page four, rename it. And this is going to be our electrical plan. Let's go ahead and edit text. So right click, edit text. And 
make sure caps lock is on and then we're going to type in electrical plan now before we need to update our SketchUp model here in layout I need to change out my actual file so I'm going to delete this one and then I'm going to go to file insert and we're just going to find my the save that we just did and we're going to bring that in now I'm just going to kind of just resize everything if you need to change the size of the actual um, our model and pan it around if you double click on it we then can do things like rotate this around if I hold down shift I can pan this around which is what I want My goal is to just get everything set up that it looks really similar to this right here. If you don't, if it didn't automatically come up at this point, if we come up here to our SketchUp model, you can click on this little icon right here that will update your project or it'll update your SketchUp file for what we just saved. So if you didn't have to insert your pro your file, then you would need to click on this little icon in order to update it. And then your scene will be done here at the very bottom, this electrical plan scene. You also have various different effects and styles. So the style these are all the different um, architectural styles that we have used in our SketchUp model and so here we have our wireframe that we are using with our current scene um, but if you needed to change it any, any they're all here and so that's one of the things that you need to do make sure you do in SketchUp Pro with your file is creating different scenes that you're going to need So now that we have this point, we need to create our mock-up lights. And that's really easy to do. We can simply come up here to our circles. And off to the side, I'm going to create a small circle. We'll make it select that. I'm going to do control C and then control V make a copy of it let's move this copy down and I want to turn this into a fan icon so I'm just going to draw a line right here hit escape go up to the top and draw a little line on each side hit your space bar or come up here and hit your select tool draw a box around all of those lines we're going to right click and we want to turn that into a group that way we don't have to worry about moving the circle without the lines and all of that um, i'm also going to probably kind of bring this down a little bit hold down shift and that will keep it proportional There we go. Um, we also need outlets. So let's take this one. We're going to hit Control C, Control V. Bring this down. 
bring up your line tool. And we're going to draw a line right like that. Hit escape, come down to the bottom part and line that up best we can. Just like what we did up here, we want to group this. And we can hold down shift and resize it a little bit. So now we have our light, we have our fan, and we have our outlet. So going off of our blueprint series, this is plan set nine from the Harley blueprint series. And we're going to take a look at drawing three. Drawing three shows is the electrical plan for it. Um, it also shows the HVAC system, which we're not doing. We're simply doing the electrical part of this. So we're going to use that in order to look to see where we need to put all of our shapes and everything. One thing that we did forget to do is create the light switch. So come up here to your text, click over here and we're going to hit dollar sign. If you need to change the text any, you can come over here to your text style. You can, I want to bold it. I want to turn it to around 18. You can change your the, the font if you want to. I'm going to leave it at Georgia. And so that is our little light switch. So this is where we will stop here in this episode. In our next episode, we will start actually placing in all of our shapes. We'll actually create our dashed lines and we'll do all of that in our next episode. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more episodes in our playlist.